Hello, I'm Randy Frost, director of the Bowen Center for the Study of the Family. And I'd like to tell you about a remarkable conference that's coming up on April 21st and 22nd. The title of the conference is A Systems View of Family Violence. Turn on the news any night of the week and you'll hear about violence among members of our species. The violence occurs between nations. Look no further than Russia's special military operation against Ukraine. Or within our own nation, not a day goes, goes by without seemingly random events of a shooter gunning down children in a school or shoppers on a mall or people in a nightclub. The most intimate setting of all is violence that breaks out in families. What can we learn about the process by which members of a family reciprocally impinge on one another to the point that one member of the family gets violent with another member of the family? What can be accurately understood and potentially modified by one or more motivated members of a family? This conference has a stellar lineup of speakers to help us better understand violence in families through the lens of Bowen theory and systems in nature. Dr. Karen Bales, past president of the American Society of Primatologists, is the featured speaker at the meeting. She's worked with multiple primate species and for the last 18 years has studied the neurobiology of social bonding in monogamous species, from TT monkeys to prairie voles and even seahorses, a monogamous fish. We will learn from her mechanisms by which experiences and development affect how adults bond with each other and parent the next generation in these species. Equally engaging are the array of speakers who will focus family systems theory on the maintenance and disruption of bonds in the human family. Bowen theory represents an entirely different way of thinking about the functioning of the human family. From the role of the clinician in the effort to restore family functioning, thank you, Dan Papero, to guiding funds to prevent child abuse and family violence. Thank you, Walter Smith. To tossing parenting techniques out in favor of changing the emotional patterns in a family. Thank you, Carrie Collier. Every speaker picks up on some aspect of the problem of violence and considers it through the lens of the family as an emotional system. The conference has been thoughtfully organized by Amy Post to engage a bevy of systems thinkers with one another in the featured speaker. Ms. Post is the executive director of the Family Crisis Center of Baltimore County, whose mission is to assist families experiencing the impact of domestic violence through programs developed with a family systems lens. Dr. Bowen wrote, when you extend systems thinking to its ultimate, all mankind becomes responsible for the ills of all mankind. How each of us thinks about violence may contribute to its frequency, directly or indirectly, at every level of society. This conference may become a classic in how to think systems about human violence. Hope to see you there.